Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to show how to crochet this beautiful and easy doily pattern. So keep watching. Start the pattern with a magic ring. Chain 4, which is counted as one treble crochet. Chain 5. Make 5 treble crochet in the ring with chain 5 in between. Complete the row. I'll see you guys in the end. I have completed all travel crochet. We have 6 travel crochet here including chain 4. Make a slip stitch in the 4th chain. First row is completed. Make a slip stitch in chain 5 space, chain 4 for the next row which is counted as 1 treble crochet. Make 5 treble crochet in the same space. So here we have 6 treble crochet including chain 4. So now we are going to chain 5. In the next chain 5 space make 6 treble crochet. Chain 5. Repeat this pattern all around. I'll see you guys in the end. As you can see, I have almost completed my row. So this is the last chain 5 left. I'm going to chain 5 and make a slip stitch in the 4th chain. Second row is completed. Chain 4 for the next row. So now we are going to make 5 treble crochet together. Yarn over twice. Insert the hook in the next stitch. Pull up a loop. Pull through 2 loops. Pull through 2 loops again. Yarn over twice. Insert the hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, pull through two loops again. Repeat this three more times in the next three stitches.
we have six loops on our hook so now we need to pull through all the loops together so this is our six treble crochet together including chain four so we need to repeat this for the rest of the six treble crochet stitch chain seven Make one treble crochet in chain 5 space. Chain 7. So now we are going to make 6 treble crochet together in the next 6 treble crochet stitch. Pull through all the loops from the hook, chain 7, one treble crochet in chain 5 space, chain 7, Repeat this pattern all around. I'll see you guys in the end. This is the end of the row. So this is my last chain 7. I'm going to chain 7 and make a slip stitch in the 4th chain. Row 3 is completed. Chain 4 for the next row, which is counted as 1 treble crochet. Chain 5. One treble crochet in the same space. Chain 5. In the next space, make 3 double crochet. One double crochet in treble crochet stitch. Three double crochet in the next space. So here we have seven double crochet. So three double crochet on either side and one double crochet in treble crochet stitch. So total we have seven double crochet here. Chain 5 1 treble crochet in this treble crochet together stitch you can make it on top of the stitch Chain 5 1 treble crochet in the same stitch
chain 5 repeat this pattern all around i'll see you guys in the end as you can see i have completed my row in the end make a slip stitch in the fourth chain Row 4 is completed. Make a slip stitch in chain 5 space. Chain 4 for the next row, which is counted as 1 treble crochet. Make 3 treble crochet in the same space. So total we have 4 travel crochet here, we are going to chain 5, make 4 travel crochet in the same space, Chain 6, we are going to skip the first double crochet stitch, from the next stitch we are going to make 1 double crochet each, in the next 5 stitches, Here we have a total of 5 double crochet stitch, chain 6, in the next chain 5 space make 4 treble crochet, Chain 5, 4 travel crochet in the same space. Chain 6, skip the first stitch, make 1 double crochet each in the next 5 stitches. Chain 6, repeat this pattern all around, I'll see you guys in the end. As you can see I have almost completed my row. So my last chain 6 is left, I'm going to chain 6 and make a slip stitch in the 4th chain.
Row 5 is completed. Chain 4 for the next row which is counted as 1 treble crochet. Make 1 treble crochet each in the next 3 stitches. In chain 5 space, make 4 treble crochet. Chain 5 4 travel crochet in the same space Make 1 treble crochet each in the next 4 stitches. As you can see, we have a treble crochet on either side with chain 5 in between. Chain 6. Skip the first stitch, make 1 double crochet each in the next 3 stitches. Chain 6 1 treble crochet each in the next 4 stitches Four travel crochet in chain five space. Chain five. Four travel crochet in the same space. Chain 
one treble crochet each in the next four stitches Chain six. Skip the first double crochet stitch, make one double crochet each in the next three stitches. Chain six, repeat this pattern all around. I'll see you guys in the end. As you can see, this is the end of the row. Make a slip stitch in the fourth chain. Row 6 is completed. Chain 4 for the next row, which is counted as one treble crochet. Make one treble crochet each in the next 7 stitches. Make 4 travel crochet in chain 5 space. Chain 5. Four travel crochet in the same space. Make one travel crochet each in the next eight stitches.
so here we have a total of 12 treble crochet each on either side with chain 5 in between chain 7 make one double crochet in the second double crochet stitch chain 7 you need to repeat this all around i'll see you guys in the end i have completed my row in the end make a slip stitch in the fourth chain row 7 is completed chain 4 for the next row which is counted as one travel crochet chain 2 Skip one stitch, make one treble crochet in the next stitch. Chain two. Skip the next stitch, make one treble crochet in the next stitch. Chain two. Skip one stitch, make one treble crochet in the next stitch. Chain two, skip one stitch, make one treble crochet in the next stitch. Chain two, skip one stitch, make one treble crochet in the next stitch. Chain two. So here we have a total of 6 travel crochet including chain 4 with chain 2 in between. Make 1 travel crochet in chain 5 space. Chain 3. One travel crochet in the same space. Chain 2. Skip one stitch, make one travel crochet in the next stitch. So we are going to repeat this on this side as well. Chain two, skip one stitch and one travel crochet in the next stitch. So complete this till we get six travel crochet. I will see you guys there. As you can see I have completed on the other side now we are going to make one treble crochet directly in the next treble crochet stitch so in this treble crochet we are going to make one treble crochet and continue with chain 2 skip one stitch one treble crochet in the next stitch so repeat this pattern all around I'll see you guys in the end as you can see I have completed my row so in the end we are going to make a slip stitch in the fourth chain row 8 is completed this is the last row Make a slip stitch in chain 2 space. Chain 1. Make 3 half double crochet in the space. Chain 2. 
We're going to repeat the same for chain 2 space, 3 half double crochet in each chain 2 space. So repeat this till we get chain 3 space. In this chain 3 space, first we are going to make 3 half double crochet. Chain 2. 3 half double crochet in the same space. Now for each chain 2 space, we are going to make 3 half double crochet. I'll just go ahead and complete the next 5 spaces. I'll see you guys there. As you can see, I have completed on the other side. So the next point, you can see we have Two travel crochet in between the two travel crochet we are going to make one half travel crochet and continue with the same three half travel crochet in chain two space so repeat this pattern all around i'll see you guys in the end in the end Make a slip stitch in the first half double crochet stitch to end the row. So our beautiful doily is completed. I hope you all like it. Thank you so much for watching.